Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Kristen. Today's video is another light worker update. But before I get started on today's video, I just want to remind everyone that I'm doing a 5,000 subscriber giveaway, a healing session with me. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, please subscribe to the channel and then leave a comment about what you like about this channel or what you have learned about spirituality through watching this channel. All right, so at the beginning of the week, uh, the downloads, the light codes, the upgrades were streaming in fast and furious. Monday afternoon, I got totally wiped out. I have talked about this in previous videos, but sometimes when a massive download is coming into my crown chakra, I just can't even keep my eyes open. I just have to lay down and go to sleep. And that is what happened on Monday. And then I was pretty exhausted on Tuesday as well as my body was integrating the energy. And then it became clear to me that what the download was for light workers was so that we could remember ourselves, so that we could remember our purpose, and so that we could get in touch with ourselves on a soul level. Keep in mind that my energy reports are based on what I experience in my own spiritual awakening, what I witness with the clients that I'm working with from all around the world, from all walks of life, and also what I observe in the collective. So lightworkers are being activated right now. We are being activated to hold the light as we go through this huge global shift. And for a lot of light workers right now, going inside has been very painful. I have worked with a lot of clients over the last couple of weeks who are experiencing many dark nights of the soul. What I want to say to everyone is going within is courageous and is brave. And a lot of people are struggling right now because going in is having them take a look at things that they didn't want to necessarily take a look at. Our external world has totally shifted because all of our distractions, all of the things that kept us busy so that we didn't have to do any self-reflection, that is all gone. And so now we are faced with being in our home and taking a look at ourselves. And what I have been seeing with clients is that this is allowing us, oh, and whenever my throat does this, I'm about to say something really important. This time is allowing us to reclaim the pieces of ourselves that have been lost. And in almost every session that I've had, and including what I'm experiencing with myself is, we are calling back, we are reclaiming the pieces of ourselves that were fragmented during trauma, grief, sometimes in childhood, other times in adulthood, but those soul fragments are being returned to us now. And what is occurring on the other side is absolutely tremendous. Our ancestors, especially our maternal, our female ancestry, is holding space for us on the other side as the patriarchal energies lose their power and control over the way we look and feel and think about ourselves, how we look at ourselves, how we perceive ourselves. And the patriarchy has wanted us to perceive ourselves as less than and as powerless. So as we reclaim the pieces of ourselves, we reclaim our power. But revisiting old trauma and grief can be very heavy and very dark. And so one thing that is super important right now is our spiritual guidance team. Our guides and angels are also working so hard on the other side to facilitate our healing and for us to get in touch with ourselves on a deep soul level, to get to know who we really are without all the layers of should have, have to, must have, keeping up with the Joneses and the rat race. 
if you have been struggling, or even if you're not struggling right now, if you've already been through the Soul Sludge purges, I went through them last year. 2019, I stripped away all of this. And what tends to happen is I tend to go first so that I can be um, the relayer of what the wave looks like. So Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Ariel, whatever angels that you resonate with, please lean on them now. They are there for you. They are here for you. They want to take your pain, your burdens. They want to assist you. The Ascended Masters, Babaji, Saint Germain, and uh, Confucius, oh my gosh, Confucius in his Zen wisdom has been coming through so strong. Yogananda, the Ascended Masters have um, been here on earth. They understand what it is like to live in physical density and they transmuted that density. Their path to self-realization most often included a dark night of the soul. It is very hard to self-realize when there is external energy and it is very hard to self-realize without confronting and healing the shadow side. Muktananda in Play of Consciousness talked all about his dark night of the soul in his Swami tent. He confronted the shadow energy and Goddess Kali was with him as he integrated the shadow aspects of himself and self-realized. So external things like news, I talked about this before, conspiracy theories, a lot of this is based in fear and also based in blame. And I know I've had to turn off a lot of external noise because it was not helping me to self-realize, to heal, to love myself. So this is a time right now that can be uncomfortable, but is also a lot of times necessary to get to that place of self-love and self-realization. Releasing soul sludge is not fun. It is very uncomfortable, but your spirit team, oh my gosh, especially the goddesses. If goddess energy resonates with you, please ask the goddesses to help you. They have retrieved soul fragments for clients that clients didn't even know were missing. And the goddesses like Venus and Aphrodite, Athena, Isis, Kuan Yin, Kuan Yin, the goddess of love and compassion, she is here to help you heal your inner child. The goddesses of the underworld are there to pull us out of the soul sludge. Anana, Arishkagel, Kali, all of these goddesses, whoever you resonate, they are here for you. They want you to ask for their help and they will hold sacred space for you while your energies return to the light. If you are in need of assistance, all the information to book appointment with me is below and I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and just reminding you that the path to healing is internal and it is via your self-love. So if you are experiencing purges and dark night of the soul, decide to show up for yourself with love no matter how you feel. Namaste everybody, lots of love, bye-bye.